Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2023 Chevy Bolt EV. With this vehicle, I'm going to show you how to jumpstart your vehicle. I know that it sounds odd being that it is an EV, but you need to have 12 volt power. This is your 12 volt power supply, a standard 12 volt battery that powers the vehicle for it to be able to run and operate. If there is no 12 volt power, your vehicle will not turn on the contactors and any of the informations for the high voltage system to do anything to your to run. So that's one reason why you will need to have it jump started if your 12 volt power supply has been depleted, whether you left the lights on or the battery has just gone bad. So um, that being said, we also may need to get in the vehicle so that we can pop the hood and say you try to unlock it with your key fob whether your battery is dead in your key fob or um, the 12 volt battery is dead and you're not able to unlock the doors, what we need to do is you need to unhook um, the fob portion to get your manual key out and then I'll show you how to use that to be able to unlock your door. So you're going to come over here to the door to be able to unlock it. We have our manual key and you're going to feel right down in here there is a little, um, basically there's an opening for this key to go in and then you can pop this cover off and then that way you're able to put your key in and to unlock it which we turn it to the left that locks turn it to the right and that will unlock the car and then we can then get into the vehicle if that's what we need to do now that's the way we open up the door be able to pop the hood and then be able to get into there Okay, so now we've used the method to be able to get into the vehicle, pop the hood, raise it up, support it. Now we come to the vehicle where we put the jumper cables and or jumper box on these portions to be able to start the vehicle. So we have this cover here with the big positive symbol. That's where we're going to hook the one, um, the positive lead of our jumper cable or jumper box. And then we have the um, negative connection is over here. It's a grounding bolt that is attached to what is called the accessory power control module. And so then we just need to pop this cover and as we pop that cover we gain access to our positive connection here. So we're going to take our jumper cables and we have our donor vehicle or donor battery and so the order we hook this up, we hook up our, our positive connection on the vehicle on the vehicle we're jumping then we hook up the positive connection on the donor vehicle or battery and we hook up the negative on that vehicle and then we come back to our vehicle here and be able to hook our negative up here on our grounding post over here give it a few minutes generally sometimes to provide enough power for the vehicle to start kicking in and turn on it may take 10 to 15 minutes um, to be able to have that happen. Then once you're able to power up this vehicle and get it into the run position, once it has enough 12 volt power to be able to activate the high voltage system, kick on the components there, then you are ready where you can disconnect your 12 volt power supply that you're supplying to the vehicle. So we're going to disconnect the negative here, disconnect the negative on the other battery, Disconnect the positive on the other battery, come back and disconnect this positive. And put our cover back on. Now, if this battery was depleted because you left the headlights on, or the battery um, may have, or it's just very low, this will recharge with the charging system is built into the high voltage and it will charge a 12 volt power supply. But this battery might be bad and need to be replaced, so test it, replace it, and then. Um, uh, reassess there. But that's how you would jump start your vehicle with your standard jumper cables and using a um, another vehicle to help you out there. On your 2023 Chevy Bolt EV. Thanks for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.